This is a reading from the book of Toth and how to extend your life when living on earth. And he starts by explaining that all things in reality uh, have polarity, a north and south pole, and that death is the losing or the waning of those poles so that one or the other becomes weak and therefore the differential gets lost and we sink back into the energy or what we call death and what Toth calls an exchange. And here it begins. See ye not that in the earth's heart is the balance of all things that exist and have been on its face. The source of thy spirit is drawn from earth's heart, for in thy form thy are one with the earth. When thou hast learned to hold thy own balance, then shall you draw on the balance of the earth. Exist then shall thou, while earth is existing, changing in form only when earth too shall change. Tasting not of death, but one with this planet, holding thy form till all pass away. List ye, O man, whilst I give the secret, so that ye too shall not taste of change. One hour each day thou shalt lie with thy head pointed to the place of the positive pole on the north. One hour each day thou shalt lie with thy head pointed to the negative pole or the south. Whilst thy head is placed in the north, hold thy consciousness from thy chest to your head. And this is a meditation on from your chest to your head, focus your energy. And whilst you're facing in the south direction, focus your energy from your chest to your feet and this will help keep the polarization strong. Hold thy imbalance once in each seven, and thy balance will retain the whole of its strength. We don't know what the seven is, but it could be one once a week. But no, that's not right. It says one hour each day. So, I, if they be old, thy body will freshen, and thy strength will become as youth's. This is the secret known to the masters by which they hold off the fingers of death. Neglect not to follow the path I have shown. For when shall have passed beyond years to a hundred, to neglect it will mean the coming of death. Hear ye my words and follow my pathway. Keep thy balance and live on in life. And then he has more instructions and he suggests, First lie at rest with thy head to the eastward. Fold thy hands at the source of thy life, which is the solar plexus. Place thy consciousness in the life seat, which is the solar plexus. Focus your consciousness in the center. Whirl it, make it rotate, and then divide it north and south like we have magnetic poles. So you're facing east, head to the east, feet to the west, and you're meditating on a whirling from your middle that is going to split north and south. Send thy one out toward the northward, send thy the other to the south. Relax thy hold on thy being. Forth from the form will thy silver sparks fly, upward and onward to the sun of the morning, blending with light at one with its source. There it shall be flamed till desire shall be created, then shall return to a place in a form. Know ye, O man, that thus pass the great souls, changing at will from life unto life, thus ever passes the avatar, willing his death as he wills his own life. And hence the story of the phoenix from ashes arises life. But you only wish death if you know that at the end of that you, it's a passageway. And if it's a finality, you probably don't want it. He goes on to say, now how to embrace death at your, when your time comes. When upon thee death fast approaches, fear not, but know ye are the master of death. Relax thy body, resist not with tension. Place in thy heart the flame of thy soul. Swiftly then sweep it to the seat of the triangle. Hold for a moment, then move to the goal. This thy goal is the place between thine eyebrows. The place where the memory of life must hold sway. Hold thy thy flame here until the brain seat, until the fingers of death grasp thy soul. Then as thy pass through the state of transition, surely the memories of life shall pass too. 
Then shall the past be as one with the present. Then shall the memory of all be retained. Free shalt thou be from all retrogression. The things of the past shall live in today. Man, ye have heard the voice of my wisdom follow, and ye shall live through the ages as I.